Hey there, my friend, welcome. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder here at the Fit Father Project and the Fit Mother Project. I wanna welcome you to this video. We're gonna go over an amazing at-home resistance band workout. And right now, gyms are closed all over the world and a lot of us are worried about being able to get our fitness in. Well, the good news is if you have one of these suckers, a little resistance band, you can get an incredible workout at home for you, your family, your spouse, your kids, you can all do it together. So what I'm gonna do is go over this workout here, show you the moves we created for you. And this workout's great because in the short end, it takes seven minutes, but you can make this workout take up to 30, 35 plus minutes and it's a total butt kicker. It's gonna give you strength, cardio, flexibility, endurance, and it's probably one of the most effective workouts you can do at home. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go through what this workout is and the structure very quickly, and then you're gonna see me demo it here in my home with my resistance band, my carpet, and my couch. So that's what we're gonna do. So to start this off, we're gonna do a series of exercises, one, two, three, four, five different exercises, um, and we're gonna do them in an AMRAP style, A-M-R-A-P, and what that stands for is as many reps as possible. So we're gonna start with this exercise called a band squat thrust. It's gonna be a squat into a shoulder press with the band underneath our feet, where for one minute, we're gonna do as many reps as possible. So we're gonna do that for AMRAP one minute, then we're gonna rest for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna move on to exercise number two, which is a band row, into a deadlift. I'll show you exactly how to do that with all the form points, but that's gonna be great for your back, your biceps. And we're gonna also do that one minute AMRAP. Then we're gonna rest 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do a thumbs up lateral raise for that shoulder, that core, that upper back. One minute AMRAP, rest 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go on to some good old fashioned biceps curls, AMRAP for one minute. We're gonna rest 30 seconds and we're gonna do some overhead squats, which are great for your core, your shoulders, your legs, AMRAP one minute. So this whole cycle between the one minutes of each of these exercises and the 30 seconds rest, it takes seven minutes. So on the short end, again, this workout can be seven minutes, but you can repeat this several times. You can repeat this three times, four times, or if you're really brave, five times for a killer workout. So without further ado, I'm gonna move uh, this whiteboard and stuff away from here, and we're gonna hop down here, and I'm gonna show you the form of these exercises. We're gonna go through the workout very quickly, like one set of each of them, so you know exactly what to do, and we'll get you started on this workout right away. All right, so let's get into this resistance band workout. And before we get into the first exercise, the squat thrust, I wanna talk about the bands themselves. So I have these simple tube bands, you know, they're stretchy like this, um, and they have attachments right here on the side for um, little things like this, these little handles that you can use, and they're detachable with clips. It doesn't matter if you have kinds like these. It, quite frankly, it doesn't even matter for this workout if you even have a handle. All you need is some kind of stretchy band. Now, I do recommend, because we're doing a couple different kinds of exercises, you're gonna be using um, a stronger, thicker band for something like the squat thrust and the deadlift than you may use for uh, something like the lateral raise where you might need a lighter band. So for this workout, I think that um, you can get it done with one type of band, but I think three is ideal. A heavy, like the black one, a medium, like this blue one, or I'm sorry, the medium is the green one here, and the light one, that's the blue. So I have three different kinds. You'll see me cycle through them, but you can totally do it with one type of band. So first exercise is going to be um, that squat thruster. Um, this is an awesome exercise. Um, I will be using my heavy band for this. So one minute, as many reps as possible. I probably won't do a full minute just so I can actually uh, talk to you and not be gasping for air because this is very challenging, but you'll see me go over the form of exactly how it is. For the, so for the squat thruster, first thing we're gonna do, get that band on the floor and I want you to put your feet in the middle of it. So make sure the band is kind of even and then spread it out just like this. So there's nice, a lot amount of tension in the band and it feels relatively even in your hands. Next thing we're gonna do is rack it right up here. Right here, nice and tight. I'm inside, I'm squeezing right here. So for the squat thruster, what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat down like a squat, boom, and on the squat up, press shoulders down. That's one rep. Down, up, press, down. Down, up, press, down. If you're doing it right, these bands will be rubbing on the side of your arm. I want you to stay tight during this. Now, I don't care if you're up here or if you're out here. That is a personal preference on what feels best on your shoulders. But the key for this is that you're moving. And so it may feel light for the first 10 to 15 reps. Remember, you're going for a whole minute. This is not just about strength. It's about this kind of cardio aspect too. And you will start burning fast. Now, if your band is too light, you can absolutely attach two bands to something like this is the handle. And let's say you don't have handles at all and you just have a band, excuse me for a second, that has no handles. In this case, you can just grab it just like this. Same concept, just like this. So lots of options. Squat thrusters, you get the idea in the key form points. Racked up here, 
squatting down, firing up, shoulder press overhead, right on down. That's one rep. We're gonna do one minute non-stop. It's gonna be hard. Then we're gonna rest for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna move on to exercise number two, which is the band row deadlift. And so I like to use the same heavy band because it's a similar big motion for um, your whole body. So what we're gonna do here is get that band, same starting position. We're gonna spread that floor with that band, just like this. And now I'm gonna pull the band up so there's a little bit of tension on it like this. And I'm in this position where I'd say I'm about a little above 45 degree angle here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a lower here to make sure there's a lot of tension on those lats. I'm gonna do a row, like a high row like this. Down, deadlift. So I'll do a couple reps. Row, deadlift, squeeze the glutes. Row, deadlift, squeeze the glutes. Row, deadlift, squeeze the glutes in the back. So the whole backside is very tense here. I'm squeezing my arms, I'm down. I'm rowing, I'm down. Firing the glutes through, down. Row, down. Deadlift, down. Row, down. Deadlift, this is high tension for that whole posterior chain. Your lats, your traps. So this right here is working your glutes and hammies, and this right here is working those entire back musculature, heads in good position. So we're gonna do, again, band, row, deadlift. The row portion, down. Deadlift portion, up. So row, deadlift. And that deadlift is kind of a little more of like the stiff leg variety. So that, one minute, as many reps as possible. Don't even care that you count. You certainly can if you want. I do care that you actually keep track of those one minute intervals with your smartphone, with a watch, with a kitchen timer, whatever you need. You have 30 seconds rest after finishing that one minute AMRAP on those, uh, the band row deadlifts. Next exercise, thumbs up lateral raise. This is gonna be a little bit of active recovery because it's easier. Certainly a lot easier than the last two. We're gonna get a very light band because this is an exercise that we go light on. We're gonna put it between our feet here Make sure there's even tension just here. And again, you don't need the handles, but I do want you to have your thumbs up so this is nice and healthy on your shoulder. So we're here, chest is high, big breath, thumbs are up, raise, slow, good tension, come on down. So the first few reps will be easy, and I would say make sure every single rep, you don't have to keep your thumbs up, but I do care that you're in this thumbs up position and not turned over like this or anything like this. This is a healthier position for your shoulder and where you're in external rotation. So this is what you wanna be doing. Um, they can come a little more up front. It's personal preference for you, but I want you to keep high tension at the top, slowly control on the way down. Each rep should take about five, six seconds. So you're looking around 10 reps here for that full minute, as many reps as possible. And so this is gonna be a lot easier than those first two exercises. And this is by design, because I want you to be able to recover. But it should be hard on your shoulders, it should be hard on your core, it should be hard on your arms. So one minute, as many reps as possible, you are going to need a lighter band than, um, than the heavy band you used for previous. So let's say you only have a heavy band. In this case, you could probably just get um, a pair of little 2.5 pound weights and do something like this. But if you're trying to use that heavy band you're using the squat thrusters for that, you're not gonna get very far. Just know that. It's a light, that's where we need a lighter implement for that. One minute on the lateral raise as many reps as possible. We're gonna move on to some curls. So with the curls, you'll probably need that heavy band again. Um, again, same setup, right underneath your feet, spread your feet, come right on up just like this. I'm not using the handles here. I certainly could. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is your chest is high, arms are nice and tense, and you're curling up, and you're coming right on down, just like this. Now, if you need more resistance, and this doesn't do it for you, then you can attach two bands. You could take that other band beneath your feet too and do it together. But the key is here is all about tension with these bands. At the top of the motion, this is where there's the most tension. So squeeze and go slow on the way down. Let it unwind you. Every rep should take about five seconds. Up, one, two, three, pause, fire, pause, one, two, three, down. So I'll probably get around 10 reps or so during that minute AMRAP. Rest 30 seconds, final exercise, overhead squats. We will use a light or a medium band. For the purpose of this demo, I will um, get this medium band here. I will probably use the handles for this. So I'm gonna put those handles back on quickly here. And with this overhead squat, it's very challenging. It's gonna be a squat, but we're gonna be holding the bands underneath our legs, 
just like we normally have been. And again, a key idea here is let the band come to rest on the floor, step into it so it's even tension, spread your feet, push it overhead. So we're overhead, make sure the weight is kind of even in both of your hands, just like this. And now keeping your core tight, I'm gonna turn the side, you can see me a little bit better from the side angle. Keeping your core tight, once you just squat down and stay as overhead as you possibly can, just like this. So the bands are gonna to wanna to pull you a little bit forward, but I want you to stay up and keep as, as upright as possible. It's easy set the bottom, it's hardest at the top. This is really good on your traps, not just on your legs. You may even need the light band that you used on those shoulder raises. Now, if that exercise is just too hard for you, you find that, man, I just keep on falling forward, I don't feel comfortable in this, I'm gonna let the airplane go by, then what you can do instead is a modified version where you're just taking this tube resistance band and you're pulling it out here just like this. So the tension is not coming from your feet now, it's coming from out here. And this is a good way to practice those overhead squats just like this. It's easier, but you're still focusing on staying upright. The main cues here are, I think, wider stance, pulling this apart, core is tight, sitting back down into a chair just like here and coming right on up. So one minute, as many reps as possible, and then we're done with one whole circuit. Squat thrusters rows to deadlift, thumbs up lateral raise, curls, overhead squats, all of those for one minute AMRAP, 30 seconds rest in between, we're done with one circuit. Do it again for two, it's a 14 minute workout. Do it again for three, 21 plus minute workout. You know, so do it again. If you can get five circuits, I mean this workout is absolute killer. It's gonna work your whole body, your core. I hope you found this valuable. So. Here on this channel, because of these special times that we're in right now, we're putting together a lot more free at-home workouts. This was the resistance band one. We have a body weight one on the channel, and I'm sure we actually have hundreds of different kinds of workouts on our channel, but these fresh ones, we also did a body weight one, and we're having a dumbbell or a kettlebell only one um, coming up very soon. So you can check our channels. If you're not subscribed to the Fit Father Project and Fit Mother Project, then subscribe to our channels. We're gonna give you lots of free workouts over the coming days, weeks, and months. We're gonna talk about nutrition at home during these special times, how to keep yourself and your family healthy, how to boost your immune system. We're the Fit Father and Fit Mother Projects. We help you stay healthy for your family, especially if you have a busy schedule and an aging metabolism. This is what we do. So thank you for being here, my friend. Hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up like button if you found this useful, and then comment below after you've done this workout and tried this and let us know how it goes. And you can also connect with us on Facebook, all the other social media channels. We are here to help you and your family stay healthy during these times. So thank you for being here, my friend. Um, go forth, try this workout, and I can't wait to hear about how it goes for you. And I'll see you around the channel, and I'll talk to you very soon.